making medieval rope from hemp plant to 500 pound test cordage. We think of rope as something you buy at a hardware store, a commodity product made in factories, built from synthetic materials. But what if I told you this? Medieval rope makers created cordage stronger than modern twisted nylon, using nothing but plants, hand tools, and techniques passed down for thousands of years. No petroleum, no machinery, no chemistry labs. Yet they engineered rope that held castles together, rigged sailing ships, lifted stone blocks, and literally built civilizations. In this demonstration, you'll watch the full process, how hemp plants became rope that held over 500 pounds of weight, a technique so reliable, so perfect, that it stayed almost unchanged from the Bronze Age, all the way to the 1950s. Ever bought cheap rope that freight in months? Or snapped under load? That's because we abandoned the fundamental principles that medieval rope makers understood instinctively. The three-strand principle, why medieval rope almost never failed, modern rope has endless styles, braided, carmantle, twisted, plated. But medieval rope makers use one design almost every time, the three-strand right lay twist. And no, it wasn't tradition. It was engineering perfection, discovered through centuries of trial, error, and catastrophic failures. The genius, the counter twist, here's the secret. Individual fibers are spun clockwise into yarn. Yarns are twisted counterclockwise into strands. Three strands are twisted clockwise into the final rope. Each layer locks the previous one in place. Put tension on it, and the rope actually tightens itself. It gets stronger under load, not weaker. A 2015 study from the University of Manchester's textile department proved this. They compared medieval hemp rope to modern synthetics. The result? Three-strand laid rope distributed load more evenly and showed 23% higher break strength for the same diameter. Even better, because of the natural twist, the rope talks to you. It warns you before failing with creaks and visible strand separation, a built-in early warning system. Medieval rope makers didn't have engineering degrees. They didn't need them. They knew deep in their bones that a properly laid rope would warn, bend, tighten, and endure. That's not primitive craft. That's life-saving design.